Uh, good morning. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the different kind of you know, priority levels and associated principles of that operators support in Python. As we know that uh, uh, there are different type of operators in supporter and we know what is the priority level and associated principle only for within that group. But if the expression may consist of different kind of you know, operators, maybe from different category, now, for example, if my expression consists of arithmetic operators and maybe relational operators, in this method, we must know what is the different kind of priority levels for different category. So, uh, before just to move on to the discussion on this different priority levels, just I can recall what is operators and different type of operators support in Python. So, uh, we know operator is a symbol which is used to perform different kind of operations in Python. Uh, so, uh, so with, uh, there are two different type of operators based on the functionalities as uh, one is arithmetic, logical, relational, logical, bitwise, uh, then uh, special operators and assignment operators. So these are the different kind of operators are supported in Python. So these different type of operators and it's are associated, uh, sorry, priority and associated principle which is already discussed and which is uh, 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 discussed in the previous videos. So in this video, just I'm going to consolidate all the operators and I'm going to define the actual priority level of operators in Python. So, uh, so if you want to work with the, any, if you want to find the result of any expression, so we must to know this priority and associative principles. Uh, so then only we can able to know the priority level. Okay, okay. So the first two priorities always goes for parenthesis. Uh, parenthesis, uh, it's uh, for a group B. Uh, actually, with the help, even for any programming language, we can use the parenthesis for defining it's a, uh, for defining changing the priority of your operator. For example, means so this parenthesis operators always for uh, changing the priority of operators, and also it will work with the principle of left to right. Okay, let us take one simple example. Uh, so, uh, so here, uh, as we know that, uh, uh, so this uh, here, uh, that's the operator consists of both addition and multiplication. According to the priority, so here it's only coming in the arithmetic category, so that uh, the priorities goes for uh, uh, the priorities goes for uh, 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 multiplication operators. So that the first time going to perform multiplication operations, so the three star two, it is a six, so the answer is eleven. But here I want to change. I want. I expect that I want to perform the addition operation first, then the multiplication need to be carried out. So in this situation, I can place this uh, multiply plus or uh, means a plus operation inputs inside of the parenthesis. According to the priority rule, the parenthesis have the highest priority, so that the first five plus three will be evaluated. So then the answer is five plus three. It is called as uh, eight. It is star two. So that you are getting the answer is sixteen. So let's check, uh, let's check, discuss with uh, uh, you can check the output in the compiler. So there is a five plus three star two. So here I didn't use any parenthesis at all. So that multiplication of the highest priority. So that you are getting the answer is eleven. But if I'm specifying this operator, it is star two. So here always the multiplication of plus operator have a highest priority than star because it's represented in parenthesis. So the parenthesis is always useful to alter the priority of operators. Okay, so five plus three is performed first. So eight, eight into star it is sixteen. Clear? And another thing also you should remember. So even uh, it is not necessary to like we have to specify only one operator inside of the parenthesis. Even you can define any number of operators also. For example, uh, divide by a six uh, minus three. Like that, if you are given, first of all you need to evaluate that expression with, inside of the parenthesis. Then you have to do with the outer operators. So that here the multiplication operators are highest priority. So that you are getting the answer is a three by six. So it is a one by two. It is a point five because it is a fraction. Always whenever you are going to perform any operation, the result must be a fraction number. Okay. So here, uh, so five plus uh, zero point five minus three into star two. But still the parenthesis is not finished. So first we have to complete the parenthesis, then we can come back. So it against uh, the plus and minus as that, so then we have to use associative principle plus left to right. So then uh, left to right, according to the left to right principle, so 5 plus 0 0.5, so it is a 5.5 minus 3 star 2. Again, 5.5 minus 3, it is a 2.5. It is the star 2. So then you are getting answer to 5. 5.00, because the output must be fraction. 
So one values are fractional, so that you are getting output is also the fractional 5.0. If you are performing that output operation 3 by 6, so that uh, it is the answer. But actually, if you work on 2.7 version, see that if that work with the 3.5, 3 and above versions, the Python not supported our type conversion. I means uh, uh, means uh, it will convert type conversion automatically, so that it's a three by six, so that the result must be fractional number. So if you are performing any diffusion operation, always the result of your calculation must be in fractional number, so that it will be considered as a float here, so that you can expect the output result. The final output also should be in fractional number, so that you are getting the output is five point zero. Clear? Okay, so now we are move on to the next thing. So the next step, priority go for a function call. That is called function for the uh, modules, or uh, we call as uh, methods in uh, Pythons. And also next to go for a list of operations, that is for uh, slicing and a subscription. Then followed by which principle of that is called uh, extract, that is extraction operator, that is called a membership operator. So now uh, we will discuss about these things later part. The next to move on to the priorities related to the, uh, the operators which we discussed earlier. So one is next year highest priority go for exponential operator and we know that the prior associated rule for the exponential operator is R to left. That is called high to left. The next two priorities go for uh, ones complement operators and as well as for uh, negative operators. That is called as uh, ones complement. That is uh, this is for ones complement and change the sign of the number, but everything has a left to right priority. Then it's a followed by the multiplication operators, that is a multiplication group, then followed by the addition group. So in the multiplication group, the multiplication division, modulo and the floor division have an equal priority. We know it's an equal priority also if they have the evaluation principle of left to right. The next we go for addition, addition operators. Uh, okay, then after that, there is a ninth, tenth priority. So next to the priority moves to bitwise operators. Uh, so uh, because the, always try, please try to understand that always that the uh, uh, priorities go for uh, numbers, then go for the remaining things. So uh, so here the next priority go for shift operator, then followed by bitwise and followed by XR, then followed by R. So uh, so up to this the bitwise operators are over. Uh, then the next thing is uh, just we can work with uh, relational operators. Then logical operators, then finally the assignment operators, but the actual rule of the, the associative principle of your but relation assignment operator is R to L. Okay, okay, let's be discussed with one example. So as we, uh, already I mentioned that uh, uh, so if you work with uh, if the operators consist of uh, your expression consists of any relational operators or maybe a logical operator, uh, the I mean, so relational operator, the output must be the Boolean value. So here, uh, according to that, uh, the given expression is uh, we start uh, assume that this is for expression, and here that the highest priority is go for here we don't have any parenthesis. So that uh, next one thing is here we don't have any list operations at all. So just I can move on to that uh, sixth priority that is called exponential operators. So we will move on to the exponential operators, but here we don't have any exponential operators in our expression. Uh, then after exponential operator, then I can go to one's complement. But here I don't have any ones complement operator. The receptivity symbol is not exist. Uh, then I can go with uh, negative, I means a sign change operator. So here it will be the sign changing operators. So that it is a three star four. It's a greater than five plus five minus of minus three. So here the, so the sign is always minus three one. Now it is supplied. So after you know the operators, then move on to the multiplication group. So uh, the, it's a consist of only one operator, so that uh, the 3 star 4 will work. So the 3 into 4, it is a 12, greater than 5 plus 5 minus of minus 3. Minus 3 is the root. Okay, so the next term is, uh, now the multiplication group is over, then I can work with five uh, addition operator, but here you have a two arithmetic group there, so that I can work with the left to right principle, so that five addition operator I have a first priority, so 12 greater than 5 star, let's say 5 plus 5, it is a 10 minus minus of 3. 
So now the multiplicity, uh, this uh, fraction operation come into play. So 12 greater than 10 plus 3, the minus of minus 3 is 10 plus 3, so that it is 12 greater than 30. So now the relational operator is, uh, the, the, now the, uh, finally the relational operator is applicable. So that the result, we know that no, the result of the relational operator must be on a Boolean, either it is a true or false. So that here it is a 12 greater than 3, it is false. We have to check the output now. Yeah, sorry, uh, small correction here. It is false. Clear? Okay, so uh, the next thing is, uh, okay, so we can try with some other combination of operators. Uh, so just I can uh, define the operators like this. Uh, so it is, uh, assume this is our expression. Uh, so here, uh, so this is the expression, I just am going to work on that. So first of all, here we don't have any parenthesis. So next is I will go with the exponential operator, so that this exponential operator have a highest priority. So uh, it's a 2 power 3, we know it is a 2 power 3 is h. So now we are going to perform, so that uh, the result of this 2 power 3 will be changed as h. So the next thing is multiplication group. Here more than one group are there. So then first we are going to work with the left to right. So while working on left to right, the multiplication operator exists to be here. And so it is a 24 minus 6 by 7 floor division operator 2 plus B right shift operator 2. So the next priority is go for the same multiplication operator group. So next priority go for division. As we know that the, uh, if the division operation applied, always the result of your division operation must be as uh, fractional number. So that it is a 6 by 7. So that it is 0 0.6 by 7. So uh, uh, 8, so 35, so 5, 5, 5 like this. Uh, so then floor division 2 plus 3, so maximum accuracy is uh, 7 digits and uh, you can take. So uh, it is a right six operator in 2. Clear? Okay, so the next term is uh, 24 minus, uh, next time going with the floor division. So as we know that while you are working with the floor division, it will only return the result as a whole number. So that if you are working with that, just you can divide it and it will return only the quotient part. So that it answer is 0 0.4 7, um, uh, so then uh, again uh, uh, 0, 4, uh, sorry, then uh, sorry, it is 2, um, again 1, so again 15, it is a 7, again 1, 15, so 7, 7, 7, like that, it will go. Uh, so still, it's we are able to complete that operation. It is a floor division, so that uh, the floor division is uh, it is a floor of uh, floor division value, so that the floor division of this result is. Only the whole part. So according to that, the whole part is minus zero uh, plus three is greater than two. Sorry, right? Let's see the right set operators two. So now that multiplication group is over, then I can move on to the priority for after multiplication group. Then I can move on to the priority to the addition category. So that is the addition group are there. So here while I'm working with the left to right principle, the first subtraction operators comes to play. So 24 plus 3 are right shift operators 2. So that we are getting answer as a 27 right shift operator 2. So we know for right shift operator, it's a bitwise operator. So that we can work on uh, bitwise operator, means uh, binary value. So uh, if you are just to convert a 27 is a decimal value. So that convert into equal decimal value, that is an equal binary value. So it is a 28 bytes data, but actually for easy understanding, just I'm going to take only 8 bits. Because uh, before, after the means uh, uh, in LSB and MSB and all, it contains only zero because the number is also positive. Uh, so that uh, it contains only zero. So according to the rule of this right shift operator, uh, so so I am going to add two zeros in left uh, right side. I mean say MSB, and I am going to add, remove uh, two bits from right side. I mean in LSB, I am going to remove two bits. And I'm going to add it two bits, uh, uh, means two zeros in the right side. So then you are getting an answer like this. So that just to convert it to answer, so that it's a six base 10. So answer I'm getting is a six base 10. So this is the answer it's obtained. So just we can try with it now. Uh, 
So we can try with this concepts. Uh, so, uh, but actually another one more thing also, I just take a forward to say this. Um, actually, if the division operation is there, so then we are worked in the Python 3 and demo versions. So then we need an explicit type conversion, otherwise it throws an error message. I can show it now. Uh, so it shows the error message on bit-based operator because 6 by 7 result is a float, so then the final result also must be flow. But while you are applying for bit-based operator, it won't work for um, uh, for fractional numbers. See that it is an unsupported operand type as a float. So the result of this result will be that it's a float because uh, even uh, I can work with as a float, it's a 0, 0.0. Uh, so again, uh, it will work as again 24.0, so that it is a 27.0. So like that it will work so that you are not able to apply for fractional numbers. So that in your expression, it consists of any division operator, obviously the result of this division operator must be a Fractional number that is called float. So that uh, after the division operation, if you are work with uh, uh, so after division operation, if you work with the replace operator, it won't work. It throws an error message. But uh, we can able to do it here. So that is uh, so here we are getting only the result of six by seven as a fractional number. So that just I can tell you that one idea. So uh, just you can now uh, uh, convert it as an integer. So no issue will take place here. So it is an integer, so that's 6 by 7, so that the integer of result is 0, 0 division model 2 equal to us. We are getting the answer is 6, even our predicted answer is also 6. So, uh, so uh, but actually if you work with the 3.57, so that uh, uh, it will, I mean, so that is, the result of 6 by 7 will be considered as a, it, it means it will be, Convert, I have an automatic type conversion only for any explicit type conversion like this. If you work with the Python 2 versions, uh, 2.x versions, it will work. But if you work with the Python 3 and above version, we should explicitly state the corresponding type conversion. So then only we can work. But even if I don't want to do like this, so, uh, so but uh, we can, uh, even without a conversion, it work. But the thing is, before this uh, fractional concept, that I means you have to change the priority of this bit base operator, then it will work. So here the priority of bit base operators change. Uh, so, so that, uh, okay, just uh, if that expression is like this, if my expression consists like this, so my expression consists of like this. Uh, so here, as usual, uh, 24, uh, there is a 3 into star. It is a uh, first priority is go for uh, 3 star 2 double star 3 minus 6 by 7 floor division 2. Now the sifting operators will take place. So, so this is the equivalent value, binary value for 3. Uh, so now it will work. So this I'm going to add two zeros here and I'm going to remove the two bits here. So that the equal decimal value is zero. So three star two double star three minus six by seven fractional two plus zero. That's the answer we are obtained. So that it is a three star two, uh, two star eight, that is a eight exponential operator. So six by seven slash two plus zero. So uh, 24 minus six by seven is a 0 0.8555. Remind two, two plus zero. So again, it's a 24 minus, uh, this is a floor division. So you are getting the output as 0, 0.0. So 24 minus 0, 0.0 plus 0. So that again, 24.0 minus 0, uh, sorry, uh, plus 0. So the answer is 24.0. So same thing, you're just you can, uh, you are getting output like this. If you are changing the priority of your operators, it's a 24.0 you are obtaining. So only the numbers, you have to know what is the output. So if your expression contains only like arithmetic operators and bit based operators, the result must be as a numbers. But if you're, even the relational operators is coming to the play, the output must be as a true or false. So it's called Boolean. And then finally, that even the traditional equal operator have a lowest priority. So for example, just I can go and say like this. And I'm going to print the value of A. So even that uh, equal operator have a lowest priority than others. Clear? So so the type of A. So, sorry. so it's a category is a float. Correct? So the data is a float. Uh, but so it will work. For example, if I work with uh, uh, A, 1, 2, 3, 5, sorry. 
If like this, the value of the phi is copied into B and the value of B is copied into A. So that the working principle is B equal to phi. That means the phi is assigned to B. Then the value of B is assigned to A. So if you are going to print the value of A comma B, it will be separated by comma. So phi, so space phi comma phi. Because the default separator is comma in space. Clear? So it will work only from right to left principle. So that only just I said that uh, the priority of the cement operator I have a lowest priority. Uh, so then also the working principle is right to left, not from left to right. So uh, this is the way. I mean, so this is the way we should evaluate the different kind of operators in. Uh, uh, I mean, so we have to evaluate the expressions in Python. So the first priority always go for a parenthesis. With the help of the parenthesis, we can alter the priority of operators. Then we are next exponential operator. There is a number category, so exponential operator. Then one's complement operator. Then followed by negative complement. There is a minus sign. There is a negative operator. Then uh, multiplication group, addition group. The next priority go for fifth operator. Then bit by operator, bit by sign, or and x. Uh, sorry, x are and or. Then relational operators. Then Boolean knots. Then and and or operator. Then finally it's asymptote operator. Always the lowest priority is go for assignment operator. The highest priority goes for uh, parenthesis. That is called change the priority of operators. So uh, this is the I mean this is the uh, basic uh, priority rule is applicable for uh, Python operators. Thank you.